Today we're going to do a quick overview or a brief demo of the Colorado 1650. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what we call a power demo and that power demo uh, will entail us printing at multiple different speeds and multiple different types of print modes. We'll also uh, discuss the inks and, and how the inks and the print heads perform as well as the curing device uh, both in matte and in gloss modes. We'll also demonstrate for you today about how you can actually open up the drawer and you can actually load material in and load it out. What's a key unique feature there? We'll also talk about the technology that's built inside this system, the automation uh, that's included in this system that is unique to any other device or any other technology that's out there in the market today. And then we're going to show you some really cool artistic prints, uh, really cool and unique things that your customers can do as well. Uh, that no other technology in the marketplace can do. And then we'll cover the inks themselves as well. So thank you and uh, I think let's get going. We're gonna start with this uh, map that we have right here. We're gonna run that at the fastest speed at 1,710 square feet per hour. Then we're gonna follow up with this contemporary lady which looks like uh, Marilyn Monroe, I think. And we're gonna run her at production speed which is our 610 square feet per hour. On the jobs next that you see right here with the photo gloss uh, paper, we're gonna run those at high quality speed which is our 430 square feet per hour as well as the map mode at speed mode which is a comparable mode that you can run in matte at uh, 409 square feet per hour. So, let's get going by hit start. So as you see right here, the media moves forward. It's gonna measure the actual edge of the material itself. It's gonna come back and then we're actually gonna print at 1,710 square feet per hour. This is the fastest mode, okay? And this isn't just like the spec on the back of a print sheet. This is an actually mode that you can actually produce work with. What this means is, is this is for viewing distance about uh, 15 to 20 feet away. So this is a true banner type application mode and this is what we call our banner high speed mode. We love to show this mode when customers come in because it truly shows you how fast this printer really is. And by the way, this is in single pass mode. So what's really unique about our system is what you're seeing right here is we're able to lay down all the ink at once and then cure after the fact. As I mentioned, this is where your print head carriage is right here, going back and forth, laying down all the colors, okay? After the fact then, what happens is the curing carriage is sitting right here, and this actually cures the material. The UV gel ink is a gel ink, and this means that the inks don't coalesce, they don't mix, and this is what allows us to achieve these types of speeds. So what we're doing here is I'm gonna print this one job first, and we're gonna take a look at it. Great. So we just produced this job. Once again, this is at 1,710 square feet per hour that you see right here, okay? Our fastest mode. Look at how vibrant those colors are. And the other thing is we just produced this and look how durable this material is. Now once again, this is a banner type material. Look, there's no scuff, there's no damage to the material, there's no damage to the ink itself. Completely durable, so once the prints come out, they're completely dry, and they're ready to finish right away. I don't know if you can actually see it here, but in detail, okay, you can see how tight the fonts are. Okay, you can see how accurate in all the small detail. Once again, at 1,710 square feet per hour, there's no other 64-inch printer in the market that can produce work just like this at all. We're gonna produce uh, this job again. And the reason I like to pause and stop and show you that information uh, that we just provided you is because this thing runs so fast, <laughs> it's hard to get all this information into a single job. So, uh, as I was talking about before, uh, we use actually a gel ink. It's completely different than any other ink technology out there. All the other ink technologies are a liquid-based ink. What this liquid-based ink means is that they're evaporative technologies. This is not evaporative and it's a gel, so the inks don't coalesce, they don't mix, they don't muddy up. This allows us to achieve these speeds that you see right here at 1,710 square feet per hour and get this type of high saturation, high vibrancy, and durable print goods that I just had shown you. So, I uh, just finished producing this job. It's that fast, yes, it is that quick. 
uh, it's actually going to cut the job and then we're going to roll right into the next one. The next job that we're going to produce is at 610 square feet per hour. This is once again for jobs that may be about a little closer viewing distance, maybe 10 to 15 feet away. Uh, this is a two pass mode, whereas the 1710 square feet per hour is a single pass mode. So what two pass mode allows us to do is auto nozzle compensation. This is a unique part of the technology as well inside this system, is paint. And it's a piezo acoustic integrated nozzle technology. And what paint does is it sends an acoustic pulse to every nozzle on every head on every pass. There's 256 nozzles per head and there are eight heads in the system. Once again, it's setting acoustic pulse and it's listening for the echo to come back. If the echo does not come back correctly, what happens is, is the nozzle then, it knows the nozzle is fatigued or it has become clogged and then we auto compensate for it on the fly. So, as soon as so many nozzles become compromised, what can happen is we go to the automated maintenance. So what happens is, is the printhead carriage will sit right over this area right here and will go through an automated cleaning cycle. When it goes through the automated cleaning cycle, it actually purges the tiny droplets from the heads and then begins to print again. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, Marilyn Monroe, she looks very beautiful um, in her bright red lipstick and everything else, the high saturated dense colors that you see right here. Once again, this is a great banner application. This isn't the high quality mode. The high quality mode, which is what we're gonna run right after this, is our 430 square feet per hour. And what's truly uh, interesting about the high quality mode, and the reason we call it high quality mode, is all the automation that's built inside the system is functioning. So, let me hit start here, and uh, this will be uh, the high gloss mode. Now, the job following up right after this will be our speed mode in matte. And our speed mode in matte um, is a comparable mode uh, in matte, but it runs at 409 square feet per hour. The real difference there is it gives it kind of a matte look and feel. And I'll kind of explain how that happens uh, as we actually start to print this job right here. Okay, so if you wanna follow right along here, we'll, we'll see the engine set up. Now what you'll see here, there are some black marks, okay? And these black marks that you'll see are here on the side. What this is doing is this is what we call our media step. And what media step is, it knows then exactly um, how the material is actually uh, working inside the system itself because material as we know can take on its own characteristics uh, due to humidity, moisture, and tension and everything else. By, but by putting these media step marks in here, we know precisely how that media is advancing inside the system. And then this allows us to actually uh, position uh, the uh, heads and the print carriage in the right spot then to actually uh, produce the image and graphic. As I mentioned before, it lays down the entire image that you see right here. And you'll notice something else is that the print head gantry and the curing gantry are working in kind of like what you say opposite directions. Now, when we go to the map mode, what you'll notice is that the print head gantry and the curing gantry will actually start to work in tandem. I think uh, what we're gonna do here is actually show you next that we can actually switch automatically, not only from roll to roll, of course, which we had just done, but switch automatically from a matte job uh, to a gloss job or vice versa, from a gloss job that you see here back to a matte job. So there's complete, something completely different uh, from what you see from the gloss mode uh, versus the matte mode, which is what we're printing right now. And this is what you can see that the print head gantry and the curing gantry are actually working in tandem or working together. So how this is done is actually we pin the dot, okay? And what that does is this pinning the dot actually holds the shape of the dot. What this does then is because the dot becomes more rounded, that means it actually deflects the light, okay? When it deflects the light, then that gives it that really matte look, feel, and finish, okay? And that's why you see that they're working together. Now, why are they working together is the next question, right? There's a mirror that you see at the leading edge and the trailing edge of the print head gantry that you see right here. That mirror then is reflecting the LED light because we're using LED cold cure technology here. It reflects that LED light right after the uh, material is printed, okay? Once again, this is actually what holds that shape 
And actually, I have a slide here that I can show you that kind of demonstrates that specifically. So as the, uh, as the printhead gantry goes over the system, as you see, it actually cures that dot and holds that shape, okay? And that's what deflects the light. Now, when you're printing in gloss mode and you look at the top part of this slide, this is a traditional way uh, that we're used to printing. This is where we actually allow the ink to kind of settle and flatten out. It still doesn't mix, it still doesn't coalesce, it still keeps separated, but yet it allows it to flatten. That's kind of what gives it that high gloss shine look and feel. So I know that we just showed you matte mode and that was at our speed mode, which was uh, 409 square feet per hour. Now we're gonna bump it up to our high speed matte mode. The high speed matte mode is 495 square feet per hour, which is really awesome when, you, when you're looking at the, the matte jobs. Now, there's different modes for different um, uh, types of applications. So it really depends on the customer and the application set on what type of speed mode they're, they're actually gonna run. If they need more density and more saturation, then maybe they need to go down to the quality mode or high quality mode in the mat, which could be anywhere between 333 square feet per hour down to 295 square feet per hour. Now, if they're looking at doing a backlit type application, or maybe a type of media that has a lot of texture to it and so forth, then you want to run that at 215 square feet per hour uh, as well in the matte mode. And this actually holds true for the gloss modes as well. Now, matte modes has their own speed set, but also the gloss modes have their speed set. As you remember, I talked about the high speed mode in gloss, where we're achieving the 1,710 square feet per hour for the high speed banner type application. And I mentioned before that we can print at 610 square feet per hour for the production mode, but really there's a vast majority of modes, depending on that application mix. You can print on anything from 215 square feet per hour in the gloss mode to 430, which is our high quality modes. And that's the ones that include all the automation inside the system, which means it's actually true unattended printing, okay? The next modes are the production modes, which is 610 square feet per hour and that, that's a two pass mode and the single pass modes which is 1230 square feet per hour all the way up to the 1710 square feet per hour once again that's the gloss mode set so it really depends on the application and really depends on the material too that you're actually running inside your system on what type of speed or what type of mode that you're actually going to run at a lot of customers are used to this. They're used to this with their existing devices that they have in their shop. But the thing I want you to remember most is that this product is anywhere between three to five times faster than anything that they currently have. What's that mean to the client and customer? It means reduced labor costs. That means they get more productivity done in a single shift. I can't tell you how many times that I've come up to a, uh, doing a customer demonstration at a trade show and so forth to where they come up to me and they say, hey, what mode was that printed in, okay? And I'll tell them, that was our high quality mode. But anyway, uh, picking up this uh, last job that we did in the high speed map mode that you can see right here, I tell you what, it's truly amazing the quality that you can achieve. And this is at 495 square feet per hour in map mode, okay? Um, once again, if you're gonna run in map mode, you're talking uh, more close up type applications. Really, you're probably not gonna produce a banner in, that, in, in matte mode, but if you want to, that's the highest speed that you can do in matte. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, recommended uh, to do banners in gloss mode, uh, which is fine. You can do that as well. And achieving then speeds even higher if you need those types of speeds. But I would say the sweet spot uh, when you're really looking at uh, clients and customers who are producing work, not only on their existing equipment, but the Colorado, you're talking about the high quality mode or maybe production mode. Um, because once again, in those types of modes, in those types of technologies, that's where they achieve the best results. And they want to get as, the fastest uh, production they can out the door, but they also want to be able to get the best quality at the highest speeds. I have my assistant Sean's actually going to remove the roll. We're going to change the scrim banner out with another roll of material, something a little narrower. I think this uh, next roll is probably, what, about uh, 36 inches or so, okay? So we're gonna show you how to change a roll of material here. So these are the feed spindles that you see right here, and you can see that he actually left the material um, right here on the edge of the pl uh, platform. 
And this gives you a choice of loading two of the same type of materials in or two different types of materials. It's kind of up to you or up to the operator or the customer, whatever their workflow demands. So it literally takes you about 30 seconds to actually change or roll a material out. Uh, he's going to center it up that you see right here and then just drop it right in. He'll close the, uh, the latch on the end cap for the gear section. He's going to feed it now inside the system and you'll hear a beep here in a second. And that means that the material has now been accepted inside the system. You close the roll drawer and you'll see this little green light that's right here. That's what told us that we could actually open that drawer. If this light is not lit that you see right here, that means you cannot open the drawer. And really, loading a uh, load of material is as simple as that. Okay, now that we've actually loaded the material inside the system, we need to, we need to tell it what type of material it has. And we have a material in here, it's called 6024. And actually, this is the entire media library uh, that we have on the system itself. Now, you can download these media profiles uh, from the uh, internet. We actually publish these uh, all the time. And we're constantly updating that library. So I'm looking for a 6024, which of course is further down this uh, list. And of course, we're a shop that's quite unusual because we've got almost everything you can imagine <laughs> uh, inside of this. Okay, uh, I just wanted to come on over and actually lay out a lot of the samples that we just produced off the Colorado 1650 on the table. The first one I wanted you to take note of is the job that we printed on the uh, UFOT uh, S, which is the photo satin paper. We printed that in both gloss and in matte. So it kind of gives you an idea. I know it's a little bit difficult to see on the camera here, but you can definitely see maybe a little difference between the gloss production and the matte production. I wanted to show you as well is the extreme high detail that we were able to achieve on this uncoated bond material. I don't know, Claire, if you can get a good shot of that, but really, when you really look at the detail in the finish, I mean, wow, that's all I have to say. And this was done in our speed mode, which was our 409 square feet per hour in the matte mode. Now, you can produce matte on a matte material, or you can get artistic and create matte effects on a glossy type material, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, but if you're printing on gloss mode, you need to make sure that it's a coated material, not an uncoated material, because once again, you want to make sure that you get through cure on the inks themselves, and that's going to be really important. Also in matte mode, fabrics. You can print on um, polyester type fabrics as well, okay? Uh, also the expanded application mix when you look at the matte modes are doing wallpaper. Samples like you see right here. What's really cool and unique about the Colorado is that it a passed type two certification uh, for uh, Dreamscape materials. And what that means is it actually passed it without the need for lamination. Other manufacturers that are out there actually need to apply lamination in order to protect the graphic itself. Let me get my key out here real quick and I'll show you what we mean. By scratch and scuff resistance, you actually will damage the material itself before you actually damage the ink. What's this mean to business owners that own Colorados? It means that they can actually apply and, and support their clients and customers with these types of applications without necessarily the need for lamination. These types of products are also Green Guard Gold certified, which means that you can actually uh, produce these types of applications and put them up in high traffic, high volume areas, including uh, areas like daycares, hospitals, nurseries, and so, and so forth. It is completely uh, hazard free. Another unique application I want to show you here is banners. Now, we use what I called before LED cold curing. Okay, that means, as well as with the wallpaper, we don't distort the material or the media. Not only are we able to achieve high accurate color and high density of color, but you get repeatable color. And once again, that's because of the UV gel technology itself, because the inks don't mix, they don't coalesce, we get no dot gain. That means we get pure, true, accurate, repeatable color. Because of the LED cold curing though, this allows us, of course, to print on double-sided banner type materials with very, very high accuracy. Higher accuracy than any other product out there in the market. 
I want to show you this really cool thing too when we're talking about double sided printing. Okay. I want to show that one yet. Yeah, we'll show that one here in a minute. But this is this is that same file that we had just produced um, uh, on the Colorado 1650. Uh, and what's unique about this is it's double sided. Okay. We did this in matte mode. And the reason we did this in matte mode is because it is actually a day night backlit. Come over here and I'll show you exactly what that means. We'll actually hit the switch here and you can see here. Ah, there it is, it's backlit. Ah, there we go. Now it's not. So day-night backlit is an excellent application for a lot of customers. And being able to do this on the Colorado with a roll-to-roll -roll system is amazing. There's no other product in the market that is capable of doing true day-night backlit and getting that type of registration. All right, let's come back over to the table. What other applications? Well, we can do uh, window cling that you see right here. See if I can actually get it. Yep. Oh, I don't have thumbnails so much. But this is a static cling that you can put up on windows that you see in, in, in window spaces. So that's an excellent opportunity there. All right, so uh, another great window application, of course, is perforated window film that you see here. You'll see this on the uh, outside of buildings and so forth, advertising uh, people to either come on in or I've, I've actually seen a lot of this type of advertising uh, in Ace Hardware windows and uh, my local Harley Davidson dealer as well. So perforated window film is great for that as well as for doing uh, vehicle type graphics too, for doing the windows. Speaking of vehicle graphics, we can print on uh, 3M. In fact, we're uh, Avery ICS certified as well as 3M Performance Guaranteed certified for doing vehicle graphics and, and, and car wrapping and so forth. And this means that we're able to achieve with the Colorado 1650 and using our four, uh, 460 inks, which I'll show you how to load that in the system here in a minute, but allows us to achieve higher stretchability, up to 185% stretchable which is required often in those types of projects. We can also print on floors, as I was talking about before, being able to print on walls, windows, and floors. Floor graphics, especially uh, today, uh, when you're looking at uh, social distancing, uh, which, of course, my camera operator is performing the entire time, which is great. We're about 10 feet away, but anyway. Um, this is a great application. In fact, you can see a lot of this application out there uh, on the internet. And there's a, this is going to be a high popular type application in the future. In fact, if you walk right over here, I'll show you uh, this other graphic on the floor that's been up for quite some time. Okay, so this kind of gives you an understanding of the wide range of applications. Anything you can think of in the marketplace, uh, the Colorado 1650 can do. And it can do it at a lower cost per square foot because actually we use up to 50% less ink when compared to other technologies. Also, when you think of the labor cost, because the speed, throughput, and productivity, you can actually produce work that you normally do in two or three shifts, you can get that down to a single shift. Okay, I know we talked about the print heads and we've talked about the speeds and everything else, but uh, another core ingredient of this product, of course, are the UV gel 460 inks that you see right here. Um, we've talked about that you actually only have four process colors. That's yellow, cyan, magenta, and black. As you see with the green lights on that are right here, I uh, mean that uh, the system is okay. Uh, of course, if the light is not on, it means uh, you need to add an additional bottle. So we're able to achieve the high saturated colors that, uh, that you see right here because of these UV gel 460 inks. Also, you're able to achieve with these 460 inks, both the matte and the gloss look and feel. Um, you're also, of course, able to get more stretchability in these types of inks. And this is where they are 3M certified, performance guaranteed, as well as the ICS Avery performance guarantee, which means they're great for doing car wrapping, vehicle graphics, and so forth in that type of market space. So, this is what's completely unique. Okay, and um, one last application to uh, demonstrate for you guys right here. Uh, remember before, when, and actually some of the other samples that I was showing you, you can print both in matte and gloss. And I was often asked early on, well, can you produce something that's both matte and gloss? Yes, you can actually. 
the, the trick is that you actually run it back through the system. So what we've done here is actually we printed the file in mat first, then we've gone back through the system and actually we've then put like a spot gloss on there. Now, some people ask, well, is that a varnish? What is that? No, it's actually just the high gloss ink itself. So we're able to print the red on top of the red right here, and that gives you a nice, unique, shiny effect. You can also see this in this type of wrapping paper as well, okay? And you can also see it right here. So once again, what you would do is you would actually run the mat uh, color graphic through the uh, printer itself. And as it becomes, winds onto the roll, you would then load that roll back inside the system. And then you would actually put the gloss on top of that. The high accuracy we're able to achieve, as I mentioned before, in doing the day-night backlit, as well as doing these types of applications, there is no other printer, roll-to-roll -roll printer, out there in the market that can perform and do these types of applications. So imagine the wall decor market and being able to achieve and do these types of effects. We're just now beginning to scratch the surface here with these types of customers and clients that are just now starting to think about this and doing these types of applications. And these are high margin opportunities, not the low margin opportunities like banners and so forth. Once again, it's just allowing these customers to actually truly differentiate their business and allow them to produce a wider variety of not only applications, but higher margin opportunities as well. Thank you. I'm John Kaufman. I'm the Senior Marketing Specialist here at Can Solutions America. And thank you for stepping into our CEC for a quick power demo today. Have a great day.